Hello guys, today I will share with you the secrets of a good mix. If you will follow them, nothing can happen to your mix anymore. Today's video is sponsored by me. The most important thing for a good mix is a good overview of your sounds and samples. You need to know where to find what. Personally, it helps me a lot when I sort the mixer channels into groups by color. I also recommend everyone to create bus channels. This is a main channel of several sounds that are part of a group. This way you can control your sounds much easier. The next tip is also one of the most important. You always want full control over your sound. That's why an EQ always belongs first on your mixer channel. It's important that you give the sound the space it needs. But only that, everything that is unnecessary, cut it away. For a melody in the EDM area for example, it is not important that there is still noise below 200 Hz, so you cut it away. This range is much more important for the bass and the kick. Next, I usually add a compressor to the mixer track. This lets you control peaks that you don't want in your track. Another really important point in a good mix is not the mixer tracks, but the volume control. You can mix your sounds as well as you want, but if the volume isn't right, it still won't sound good. The most important elements need to be heard clearly. A good trick is to turn the volume down. When the volume is low you should still be able to hear the main elements like vocals, drums and the melody clearly. If you are looking for good layered samples that are already very well mixed and therefore save you a lot of annoying mixing processes, then you should definitely check out my just released percussion sample pack. For the next 2 weeks you get 30% off. If you want to try it out first, you can download the 2 free packs. The link is in the description. Now on with the tips. If you want to make your sound wider and in stereo, you should make sure that the plugin comes before the reverb. Also, it is important that your sound is still mono compatible. This is best done with the free plugin Ozone Imager 2 from Isotope. Your sound should never be below zero. Now let's move on to the reverb. I use the same very short room reverb for each sound in the track, so that all sounds sound as if they were in the same room. If I want a longer reverb for a melody, I add the plugin to the bus channel and have all the sounds at once. Also, if I want to do a longer reverb on a percussion element or snare, I set the delay of the reverb between 40 and 50 milliseconds. When I layer several sounds and connect them to a bus channel, I use a compressor like the OTT to bring the sounds closer together. I also used the Fresh Air plugin to add a little more high frequencies. But it is important that you EQ the mixer track again and cut out everything you don't need. You can also go through with the EQ and look for noise and reduce it by about 2 decibels. In the end, you should sidechain your sounds that need it. To do this, you can route all sounds to one sidechain bus channel or, if you want to sidechain some of your sounds differently, you can add a sidechain plugin to each bus channel individually. This is very important so that the kick and snare come out properly. I am sure that if you follow all these tips, you will have a really clear mix now. There are definitely many other things you can consider, but these were the most important ones in my opinion. That's it for today, there will be a mastering tutorial coming soon. If you don't want to miss it, leave me a subscription. Have a great time.